All right, hello guys. Um, so today I'm just going to show you how you were supposed to write this experiment report. So this is the cover page. Uh, you can find it in your lab guide. You're supposed to get three marks here. Yeah? Then your statement of originality, you're supposed to score three marks as well. It's supposed to be signed. There's supposed to be a date. See that it's on its own page or you attach it to your cover page. Then acknowledgements, you're supposed to get three marks here. Yeah? It's supposed to be on its own, on, on its own page. In your content, this you can uh, generate it using Word. I'm sure most of you guys can do that. If you can't, you can uh, check out YouTube videos to see how you can do that. Then objectives. This experiment actually had two main objectives. To study the um, relation between temperature and pressure. And the other one was to compare the experimental slope and the theoretical slope. So from there, you're supposed to do your introduction or theory. This you, you can get from any textbook or your lab guide. But the thing is you have to paraphrase it and you have to reference it. So most of you guys were, were not scoring 10 because it's either you're not referencing it or you just copied and pasted into your lab report. So on apparatus, you are supposed to get two marks. If you have a diagram of your apparatus or a picture and you also name your apparatus. Then on your method, you're supposed to write it in report speech. You write it like you are the one who was performing the lab report, but you avoid using words like I and make use of words like was, was performed. And from there, observations and results. So here, you you can put in your measured slope and your calculated slope values and your average temperature and uh, your pressure and temperature so most people usually leave the synopsis or the abstract it's one and the same thing you're supposed to summarize the whole report write what was done and how you came about to finding the results. Then from there, you can write um, your calculations. So from calculations, most people are losing marks because they were leaving out the units. And some of, some of you guys were just compiling everything into one equation. And you are also losing marks there because you're supposed to break down your calculations. So for calculations as well, you're not supposed to show all the calculations for all the values. You're supposed to pick out a set of uh, readings and do calculations there as your sample readings. So if you do the other ones on a piece of paper, just take a picture of the piece of paper, of the paper I mean, and uh, attach it to your appendix. Some people prefer using Excel to do the calculations, and that's also fine. And on analysis of results, you are supposed to have a graph which shows average temperature and absolute against absolute pressure. Here you are going to score five marks if your discussion or your analysis talks about these graphs. So you just um, putting the graphs, you are not going to get all the marks. So you, you need to have a graph of slope against um, pressure as well. 
but your slopes has to be the measured slope and the calculated slope. So on analysis, you talk about the error and you talk about the application and recommendations. So on conclusions, you're supposed to summarize how you got to the results and you have to talk about your experimental values against your theoretical values. You have to talk about the error as well. So this last part is very important because that's where you state if your experiment was a success or if it wasn't a success. Mind you, you're not forced to say the experiment was achieved or the objective was achieved if it wasn't. Okay, if your experimental values don't relate to your theoretical values, the experiment didn't go well, you can state that. You can also get full marks for that. So from here, go to references. So on references, if you write one reference, you're also going to lose marks. You're supposed to write two or more references. And if also the format of your references, of your referencing is wrong, sorry, you will also lose marks. All right, that's it, guys. Thank you.